What's going on guys? DJ Spinner here bringing you the next episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. <clears throat> now, we had some issues and we got them issues corrected. And so now, we should be able to just pick up where we left off and get this baby going. So, you guys voted in the last episode, I guess, if you want to call it that, on what starter I should choose out of the new selection of starters. You guys came out, you guys voted. And it got real close between two of the Mons. And as I said in the last video, I would select the Mon that you guys won, or that you guys chose, and then I would run through the stuff that we already saw and lead us right back to where we left off at the end of the last episode. As if nothing ever happened. So, let's check out our starter. Now, the nickname... It's holding a Thick Club, by the way. Thick Club. Um, the nickname, I, I kind of was at a loss of what I should nickname it, so I ended up doing something that both fits, but is also not super original, kind of angsty, <laughs> which isn't me, but here is our starter. We have Shadow, the Zorark, with the ability Effect Spore, which is amazing, holding that thick club, and he's rocking out with Pursuit, Hone Claws, False Swipe, and Mat Block, which I've literally never heard of this move before, Mat Block, and it says... Using a pulled up mat as a shield, the user protects itself and its allies from damaging moves. This does not stop status moves. Now, what's weird about that is I tried using it on one of the, uh, because I battled Howe in between the starter selection in here. And, um, I tried using it against him and it failed. So I don't know if there's got to be a certain, I'll have to look up a way to use that. But also, I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but Zorark is a fire type. It's randomized. It's perfect. It's beautiful. He's a fire type. So he has no stab. It actually looks like a move set that you would normally have on him, other than Mat Block, which I've literally never heard of. So, um, yeah, no, the effect spores come in clutch. It saved me in a couple battles. How was a dangerous boy. He had um, a Duosion and a Zekrom, so that was fun. Um, but yeah, now we're going to continue on here and do some voice acting for you guys, <clears throat> or not. She just walked away. See, those are the cutscenes that don't need to be in the game. Those ones where nothing's said, they stand there and look at each other, and then she just turns and walks away. I'm like, do we need this? Do we really need this? I don't remember, I don't know if I remember the voice I did for these guys, but we'll see here. Oh, DJ Spinda, you re you already met Lily, huh? <coughs> oh, I'm starting to get a cold, guys. She's my assistant, yeah. <clears throat> Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. Whoa. I was just, um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail, and while I waited for him to return. <clears throat> and that's how you met our new neighbor, DJ Spinda, huh? He just got to Alola yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? Nice to meet you. Oh, this is rough, guys. The Kahuna's back. Kahuna's return. All oh, Guardians chosen of the strongest Pokemon. Oh, this one's really gonna kill me. <coughs> Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna Hala. <laughs> some kind of trouble? <laughs> Just caught up in the middle of some bra some brawling rock rough, that's all. Sorry, Lily. <clears throat> what were you saying before? For some reason, I saw Tabu Koko flying about. Uh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some Spearow on the bridge, on the plank bridge, and DJ Spinda helped it protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Woo! That's something you don't hear every day. <laughs> Although it's said to protect us, our Tabu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kakui, my boy. My boy. I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, 
the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to welcome to Alola. Young Kakui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Yeah. Oh, when did you get out again? Oh, that Kahuna Hala and the professor will keep us keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. I I have read the Pokemon I have read that Pokemon like it when you're when you pet them and take care of them, you know? Yeah, they don't really like it when you give them the old backhand, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright! Here's a lovely gift to help me make the day special, DJ Spinda. What did I just get? I got a Pokedex. A, a, a Rotom Dex. I hope they don't do that again. I didn't really care for that. A Pokedex is a real high-tech cool kind of tool, yeah? that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Poplio, here is already registered. Oh, yeah. So check it out. Trainer Passport. Didn't I need that to get here? Why am I just getting that now? <laughs> well, you got to meet the Kahuna, at least. Ready to head home now, DJ Spinda? To your mom? You ready to head home to your mom? Oh, my God. Oh yeah, TJ Spinner, hold up a sec. <clears throat> is what is it, how? Did you forget something? Are you seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell everyone before wandering off for a stroll and sing without a word, huh? Hmm, DJ Spinner, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Tatu Tutu isn't that You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, DJ Spinner? That's when I got the stone. So it even did it even Dean deigned you wait what what why am I brain farting on this word? So it even Deigned to give you a stone. If that's how it's supposed to be read, I don't really know. Perhaps you are here in Alola, DJ Spinda, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. Fret not! I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trader. I can, can see the light within you, too. <laughs> you must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure to get back safe today, <laughs> though, DJ Spinda. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't you want to go Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day, you and your precious Pokemon of yours? Uh, yes, I'll keep an eye on. As he's walking by. Ew! Oh, you! Would you try not to escape every the very moment that you were told not to wander off? <laughs> Imagine if it actually showed the real Pokemon that was following me. It showed like a Zora Arc come running, rolling up in here. Welcome back, DJ Spinda. So, what did you think of Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look what I got you. Ooh, bork bork. It came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. Right there on Route One. What well, up, dang? And it saved you? That's amazing. It must be a fate that you met. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at a pair of you. Mmm. Mmm. Coo. Bork. Why is it saying coo? Wouldn't that be something that Rowlet would say? Is it randomized? You know, one thing that's interesting, guys, that I could have randomized in this, I could have randomized the story dialogue, which would have made it quite interesting. I probably should have done that. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Ding dong. Just kidding. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, DJ Spinda. Ugh, uh, uh, doors are difficult. Uh-oh. He just comes helping himself right on in here. 
Hey there, DJ Spin. It's about time we set on a festival, yeah? But first, I've got something to teach you, yeah? Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer and all. It's the most basic of basics. Come on, to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Wow. Wow, my. Wow. Guess what? I got stopped again. Yo, DJ Spinner, hurry up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Okay. Route one. So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out of you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got a Poplio here, you can go and fight wild Pokemon, yeah? So you can also try to catch them. Woo! I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. It's a Grubin. Ruben the Grubin. Whoa, I broke it. I was jamming too hard, guys. I done broke it, did it? Mmm, I'm gonna catch that Grubin. I gonna catch that Grubin. Alright, got myself a Grubin. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home for a rest up a bit, yeah. <coughs> Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Nuzlocke has begun, ladies and gents. The Nuzlocke has begun. The extreme randomized Nuzlocke. Five Podions and ten Pokeballs. Why don't you give a little more? Why don't you have a little more adventure in your own town of Yiki Town? Yeah, take good care of you, Spin and Pop, though. All right. First encounter, Route One. Route One, first encounter. Let's get it. Ooh, dang! I hit Mon Lee. Yet another Pokemon that does not evolve, though. Fun fact. Um, should be able to false swipe this guy, as long as he doesn't have anything with recoil. Mmm. Sky drop. He took to the sky. Perfect. Can I throw a Pokeball at him right now? Shoot. Um. I guess I can map block. Oh, splat. That is literally nothing. Effect Spore, put him to sleep clutch. Oh my goodness, that's clutch. Well, now we should be able to catch him, no problem. Pokeball, 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 Pokeball. Mm. So, guys, I need you guys to show up in the comment section of every video. Leave me some crazy cool, uh... Some crazy cool nickname ideas, and we'll just start slapping them all on all these crazy mons. Cause I have no ideas for for uh, nicknames anymore. It seems like um, Hitmonlee will be named um um. Here we go. Not a big fan of this actor in general, but... And I, I, I don't remember if it's spelled like this or not. I think it is. Statham? 
Either way, it's a cool name. Statham. Statham. Jason Statham. I think it's Statham. Eh, whatever. Statham's his name. Route 1 encounter is Statham of the Hitmonlee. And he's been added to the party. And we'll take a look at his typing and see what, uh... So we got a fire type starter. Alright. We got an, He's got holding a stone plate. Clutch. Another fire type. Nasty plot, roar, revenge, and sky. Dude, he could have roared us out. Alrighty. Well, nasty plot's gonna be worthless on him. Revenge normally would be stab, but I don't know where sky drop comes from, but we'll we'll keep it, I guess. These two moves are gonna do some work, man. I didn't know Sky Drop was only a base 60. I thought it was higher than that. It's a two-turn move. It should be higher than that. Okay, nasty plot roll of time. Yeah, so that's that's the move set. Um, oh, I didn't even look at his ability. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, Marvel Scale. Well, that's kind of interesting. Look at this. The Pokemon's marvelous scales boost the defense stat if if it has a status condition. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like the opposite of Guts. So I'm boosting my attack on the status condition, and now boost my defense. Which is gonna come in pretty handy, I think. Let's run back and heal at Mom's. Alrighty. Bing, bling, hang em, bling. I obtained another Pokeball. Well, look at that. Replace the one I just threw. Does mom give me a Pokeball every time I go home and rest? Might be worth for the first little bit. Another encounter on Route 1. Another encounter, it's a star avia. I should probably grind up um, Statham over there, but I kind of forgot about it. Kind of forgot about it. Flat. Oh, good. We finally want it. It's super effective. So it's a psychic type bird right there. Let's put. Let's switch Statham to the front. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so we do. Okay. Weird, weird button pressing for that. Okay. <laughs> we need an item. It's another Pokeball. Look at that. We're set, man. Trainer battle. Trainer battle. Battle, battle, battle. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, it's a teacher. I'm challenged by Dancing Family Audrey. Dancing Family. Alright. Hippotopitas. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little cry there. Um, let's go for a sky drop. What the heckles, man? See you later. Woo! That's a crit and it still didn't do much. Poison Fang. Oh. I guess that'll raise my defense up. Oh, he got it on the first turn. Well, my Marvel Scale kicks in. At least it should. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Don't, don't have this in the first episode already. Holy Toledo, this will knock out. It didn't even knock out. Oh! Wow. This first episode's already straight fire, boys. Boy, if we if we encounter a strong water type, it is Dunzo. Dunzo Funzo, they say. Effect spore, how you like me now? How you like it now? How you like it now? We should outspeed, yeah. We should outspeed even if he wasn't paralyzed. Get pursued, boy. Hot pursuit right here. He's a fire type, he's got pursuit. It's hot pursuit. Oh man, that's what I should have named him. 
Should have named him Hot Pursuit. Another legendary Verizion, dude. Are you kidding me? What's with the legendaries already? And when I say a le another legendary, and you guys already, you know, yeah, I told you this, but in case you missed it, uh, there was a Zekrom in my first Howl battle that we were that we skipped by. So, fun, fun, fun. Tell Daddy take the T-Bird away. Ooh, that was good. Freeze dry. Is that a one-hit KO? No, it's not. Okay, okay, okay. Whew! I could have swore. What, what move am I thinking of? I was thinking freeze dry. Yeah, freeze dry is the move where if you use a water type move before it, then it does like a lot of damage. That's what it is. I think I think I was thinking of sheer cold actually. That would have been nuts, dude. A sheer cold Verizion knock out my starter on the first episode. Well, not first episode, but like the third episode or whatever this is. Mm. Wild sauce right there. Is there an item over here? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. There's an item right here, man. You know what? It ain't worth I'm going back to heal again so I can use Hitmonlee again. Mmm. Erg! I should have switched out. Oh, it's the Shellos! I'm so close to getting a Gastrodon in Pokemon Go right now. I've been catching Shellos like crazy. Okay, this is scary territory is what this is right now. Oh, my heart just stopped. I literally thought it was like, like going for pursuit or something. Oh, better yet, water gun. Oh my lord. Settle down, Shellos. Level 2, Shellos. Get out of here. Let's peel out of here, boys. Oh, that's a lot of grass. Oh, that's a lot of grass. Oh, that's a lot of grass. We made it. We made it out alive. Already having mini heart attacks, guys. Crazy. This series is going to be full of heart attacks, I have the feeling. There's so many Pokemon in this, like, I mean, this is every Pokemon in the game. Like, this is every Pokemon known to man. Other than the three new starters from the Galar region. And Meltan. But other than that, it's got Zeraora and all the other ones. I would love to encounter a Zeraora. Imagine how cool my team would be if I had a Zorark and a Zeraora. Because they're kind of similar Pokemon, when you think about it. It's like one's light and one's dark. They're like counterparts. Ooh, cool Pokemon. <coughs> Ugh. This cold is killing me, boys and girls. Boys and girls. Powdered snow. Well, I resist that, so have fun with that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to get some encounter oh, not encounter. I'm just trying to get some levels, man. I'm just trying to get some experience here. It's literally what's happening right now. Frozen solid. See, I would just run, but I don't want to run all the way back to mom's house and heal. I figure if I can stay in here until I get unfrozen and then knock it out. And then I can just use a potion because I'm not like poisoned or anything. But so far, he's really bumming me. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This is so stupid. I avoided the attack and I'm still frozen solid. Okay, does... Does ice never end? How many turns has this been now? It's like five turns. I'm gonna have to run. Can I just thaw out, please? Can I please just thaw out? I'm running. This is stupid. Freeze never ends. I'm running. Freeze never friggin' ends. Now I gotta go all the way back to mom's and heal again. Ugh, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated, guys. Game's already got me uh, irritated over 9,000, and I can't even handle right now. <sighs> okay. Okay. Perfect. We're healed. We're not battling him. If we see another Amora, I'm running away. I'm not getting frozen for like 8 million turns again. Oh. <sighs> I, I, you know, I'm still, like, I was a little bit surprised at how many people actually voted for Zorark. 
I mean, I figured there would be some votes for Zora because it is just a cool Pokemon. Oh, gosh, we had some lag there, boys. Um, <clears throat> he is a cool Pokemon, and then also, but also, like, I mean, Thunderous. It's so Thunderous. Got away safely. Thank goodness. I feel like I need to save pretty soon here because this is getting downright scary. Whoa, that sound for the battle. Alright, let's do it. Woo, she looks way different than she did out there. Dancer Jimmy. Dancer Jimmy, I got some long hair there, little boy. It's a Gengar. Ooh, nifty. Nifty, what type is the Gengar? Okay. Let's let's go crazy here. Let's sky drop. See, see what we can do with this sky drop. I can't believe we got two fire types on the team. Kind of booty. Cursed body. Nice. Rolling kick. Okay, okay. That's like a move that I would normally have. Thunder wave. Perfect. Perfect. Appreciate you. Mm. Ooh, that was super effective. What type are you, Gengar? Are you a normal type or a rock type or... I'm a level 5 Statham now, so there's that. Wants to learn double kick. Normally that would be stab and I would be all for it. I don't need nasty plot though. Yeah, I don't need nasty plot. Roar might come in handy. I don't foresee myself really using it much, but it might come in handy. Ooh, we almost got two levels. A Mars Shadow. What? So many legendaries already. Two on screen, one off screen, already in the game. Fire Punch. Ooh, Marshadow's a cool looking Pokemon. Marshadow's such a cool Pokemon. Ooh, and it's a very dead Pokemon. It's also super effective. Dang. Look at Statham out here putting in the work. God dang. Level six. We're gonna get another level. Oh, so close. Dang, we put in some work there. Hot dang. I'm gonna grab this item. Urgh. Kabutops. Sweet. Sweet! Dude, if you were actual typing what you are, I would blow you away. With my revenge. Octazooka, water type move! Ooh. We took it alright. We took it alright. Revenge, let's get it. That is resisting. I'm running. Got away safely. Perfect. A podion. All right. Um, I think before I take any further steps here, we're about to encounter some craziness. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it an episode right here. Because we're about at time. I, we might even be a little over time. I'm not, I haven't really been checking. But we're finally back on track. Everything's randomized. Our team is, is coming together. We got two fire types, which is just sad. Um, so if you guys like this episode, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button down below because your support is oh so greatly appreciated. And if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe for more DJ Spinda. And as always, that's it.